The working day has finished and it is time for another GCN training session. Come on, people, let's hit it. We've got a 20-minute session for you today. <laughs> Six-minute warm-up, how we need to bring the energy and a bit of humour too. I'm looking forward to this one. I am excited. Always good to get a 20-minute blast done. We've got some brilliant guests joining us today. We've got Hank over there on his uh, Spanish National Champs bike. <laughs> Katie, Maddie and Morgan at the back. We're going to go into the pain cave together today. She's always good when you share the experience. Get each other through it. 20 minutes, as I said before at the moment, nice warm up. Two minutes, 30 seconds into that. Nice and easy, get the legs moving, get them turning. Gonna ramp things up a little bit, get the heart moving, bring it back down, and then the meat of the session. Got two two minute efforts. First minute in the saddle, about eight out of 10 effort. Second minute out of the saddle really pushing on as if you're trying to get over the brow of a hill you're suffering and you need that last little kind of gasp of energy have some recovery we're going to do it again to finish things off a three minute hard effort similar in the saddle out the saddle back in the saddle to finish things off and rinse out every last drop of energy like you're squeezing a towel 30 seconds left of this warm-up we're going to push things on a bit to a five out of ten effort always good to get the heart going if you're feeling a bit rubbish now if you're feeling tired don't worry too much is what the warm-up's for you'd be surprised how much a little effort can bring you on and just get your legs in the game so keep things positive don't get negative we're going to fly through this one folks 20 minutes really can get a lot of work done in 20 minutes five seconds then let's push on five out of ten effort straight into the big ring into the big dog let's get the heart pushing upwards starting to find it hard to kind of maintain the conversation perhaps you're starting to feel your heart rate rise starting to get a bit of sweat on nice warm summer's day here where we are filming our training session so it's the same for you make sure you get a fan on plenty of liquids got a bit of electrolyte in mind replace all that salty sweat that you're hopefully going to lose on the floor in a second we're also joined by our very own lovely Hank who we're going to put through the meal today Hank how are you feeling today yeah I'm feeling good excited there's a, a bit of a difference in this session it's a bit outside on the inside isn't there yeah um, uh, the only thing I will bring up is that I just bought you that shirt well, the working day's over, Hank. I mean, um, we'll get you on the case later and we'll right, place cool. those buttons. Yeah, yeah. Bit of a sewing kit for you as part of the cool down in today's session. Keep on pushing. No, this is the warm up. Five out of ten. No slacking. Hank's in the big ring. We have two minutes. Easy riding after this. And we're getting straight into it. Straight into it. Like we're going for a milkshake before our pizza. Right. <laughs> 30 seconds to go, come on, get a little push on, starting to sweat already, feel the heart rate rise, push on a bit more if you feel comfortable, if you can, let's get ourselves moving, coming up to 10 seconds to go, push on a bit, feel any aches and pains, the outside and the side if you want. Warm yourself up. Okay, knock things down a bit more again. Around 80 RPM. Maybe you feel comfortable with. This is all about getting your body moving. Katie, how are you feeling today? Yeah, no good thanks. Starting to get a bit of a sweat on. Um, it's very hot today, so just making sure that drinking lots of water. But yeah, I feel good. Definitely, definitely. And, and how do you feel about getting out of the saddle? Is that something you always rely on when you're racing or riding your bike or? Yeah, no, definitely. It's, it's good for like when people attack or like up some short climbs. It's good to keep your like position moving as well. Sometimes your back can seize up if you're just sat down in the saddle for a long time. So yeah, it's good to work on that. Definitely, it is a, it is a good thing to rely on when the going gets tough and you need to kind of push on over those climbs. It can be something that people underestimate sometimes. So, a good opportunity today to work on that ability. 
We've about a minute left now, and we're getting straight into that two minute effort. So, it's gonna be in the saddle to begin with, pushing on hard, eight out of 10, that is really, you're out of breath, it's hard to talk, pretty much impossible to talk. I'll try to guide you through it. Then after that first minute, we'll be out of the saddle, same effort level, and drop the cadence down a bit, because that first one will be 100 revolutions per minute. So that's how many times one of your legs does a full revolution in a minute. If you don't have a device to measure that, just try and follow my leg speed. I'll keep things, as I'm saying them, keep the rhythm going for you so you can follow along at home. Right, 15 seconds to go, people. Get yourself ready, I'm getting into big ring. Eight out of 10, and it's go time. 100 RPM if you can manage it. Let's push on, it's gonna be a tough effort, a minute. Here we go. Let's do it, off we go. Push, 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 push. Full gas. Eight out of 10. I'm on to 500 watts already. Even at 100 RPM, I am bang on 100 RPM right now. So follow my leg speed at home. If you're able to, keep pushing in the saddle. Eight out of 10. Flying by, we're halfway through this one already. Come on, people. Keep it up. First one can hurt the most sometimes. Can be a shock to the system. Feel your breath. Start to rise now. Feel the heart rate ticking upwards. Keep the leg speed going. Start to burn. 100 RPM. Five, four, three, two, one, and out of the saddle. Keep the effort level going. And drop the cadence a bit, so if it's easier, go into a harder gear. And keep pushing. It's out of 10. This is a tough one, a minute out of the saddle is tough. Don't worry, we have two minutes, easy riding, and this one finishes. Push, 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 stay with me. We're all survivors here. 30 seconds to go. Come on, give me all you got. Come on, Hank, I see you slacking, keep pushing. This isn't a holiday. Ten seconds to go. Come on. Final bit. Five, four, three, two, one, and easy. Woo! One out of ten. Two minutes easy riding. Keep the legs moving, don't let them seize up. You'll be struggling to breathe right now like me. Let's head straight for Hank have a reaction after that first effort. Hank, for tough effort, two minutes. But a minute, 100 RPM actually really catches up on you. Like you say, the first one's always the toughest. It's like that build up of initial lactate. So after the two or third effort, you should be feeling a little bit better, a bit looser in the legs. And then the nice thing about this, you go into high leg speed and then you jump out of the saddle. And then you can slow things down by getting out of the saddle. And I think it works really nicely. It complements each other. It allows you to be nimble and agile on the bike, and I think it's only good to practice it. Hank, you get persuaded to do a lot of really tough challenges here at GCN. Yeah. How do you manage to fit your training in a shorter sessions like this, part of it's part all the about schedule? Short, hard, intense sessions for me, especially around work. So if you can fit in 40 minutes, an hour, 20 minutes before or after work, I think you're on the way to building better performance ultimately in the getting a also some you know, mental strength in there too, because training pushes that as well, really. Words of wisdom right there, and that is the aim of the game, really keeping the body moving, getting things done bit by bit, and just not being put off by not having a huge amount of time available. I love a 20 minute session like this. I think training's changed though, hasn't it now? It has, so it's much not more the, specific. The, the old days of Eddie Merckx, ride your bike, ride your bike, 12 hours a day. It's all about ride your bike, but ride it efficiently. Exactly. Uh, so you can make the gains possible. Exactly, but speaking of which, 10 seconds to go. We've got another little two minute on, all out effort, exactly the same as the last one. Are you ready? Five, four, into the big three, three, two, one. 
Up, 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 up. No slacking at the back there. Come on, Morgan. Come on, Maddie. In the saddle. Eight out of ten, 100 revolutions per minute. Follow my legs. If you can at home, at your own effort level. This is all relative. I'm doing this on a perceived effort scale. One out of 10 being the easiest. 10 out of 10 being the hardest. It's an eight out of 10 for this effort. I would reserve 10 out of 10. As you see in double, absolute smash first. Nine out of 10, hard as you can go. Eight out of 10 is that kind of, you can almost pace it, but you almost can't. Pushing as hard as you can, really. Within the realms of possibility. 100 revolutions per minute. Keep it going, in the saddle. I am on 100 RPM right now. We've got five seconds, I'm gonna jump out of the saddle, same effort level. Two, one, out of the saddle. Maybe make it a harder gear, and you can drop down to 80, 80 RPM. Keep the effort going. Maybe sweating like Niagara Falls here, as I am, and that is good. You'll have earned your shower afterwards. Keep it going, keep pushing. How are we doing, Katie? Yeah, I'm sweating like Niagara Falls. Yeah. It's hot in here. Good but... stuff. Keep pushing to the end. We'll come back to you when the effort's finished. Find out. I found it. Eight out of ten. 80 RPM, 20 seconds to go to the finish. Come on, people. Up, 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 up. Woo. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and he's back. Woo. Two minutes to catch your breath. Take it easy, get some fluids on. Katie, I'm gonna head over to you. How did you find that? No, it's good, definitely settling into it more now. Um, feeling very warmed up. But yeah, I'm sweating a lot, so just getting those electrolytes in. Um, yeah, staying hydrated, but yeah, feel good for the final bit of the session. Katie, you've been taking on some serious races on the women's calendar this year. Do you still use shorter sessions like this as part of your training when, you, when you're a pro? Yeah, so I still work, so it's good to fit in when I'm working um, and just keep that top end fitness. Um, like, yeah, it's really good just to, it's really important to make sure you keep on top of that um, as it is easy just to, yeah, do the long rides and it, yeah, these and 10 sessions are really good for racing. Great stuff, yeah. Sometimes it can be easier just to do a longer ride because you don't have to put yourself into that intense effort, which is why I love doing these and it's especially helpful to share it with everyone else, keep everyone pushing on. We're all in it together. And we do have one final effort to come all together. Same as before, except this time at the very end, we have another minute added on in the saddle. Same effort level. 100 RPM, so really just squeezing that last little bit out, pushing on, getting everything we can out on the bike. I would say out on the road, but out in your bedroom, in your kitchen, wherever you may be riding your bike right now on the static trainer. Five seconds to go, then let's get into it. Into the big ring. Here we go, people, let's do it. Eight out of 10, up to speed and in the saddle. Stay in the saddle, eight out of 10, 100 RPM. Keep it going. And I really am sweating like Niagara Falls now. Here we go. Keep it going, 100 RPM, get up to speed, follow my rhythm at home. It's a three minute effort in total. It's gonna be a stinger by the end, but the last interval. So keep that in your head and enjoy. Keep on pushing. Up, 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 100 RPM. Don't slack on me. Hank, I can see that head dropping. Keep positive. Need that Labrador grin on that face and push on. 
Two seconds and we're out of the saddle. Up, 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 out of the saddle. Woo. Keep it going. Tough session. You can do it. You can push through. Eight out of 10, 80 RPM. Feel your glutes engage. Feel the burn. Try and get to 80 RPM if you can. It can be easier. You drop it down, but everyone's push on. Come on, halfway through now. We're getting there. Keep it going, Maddie. Bring up the leg speed if you can. 15 seconds. Good work, Morgan. A demon on the bike is Morgan. Come on, everyone, five seconds. We have a final minute. And back in the saddle. And this is it now. Back in the saddle, up the leg speed. 100 RPM. Up, 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 up. Get it to 100 RPM and hold it there. Let's drive it to the finish. I'm starting to feel the burn now, I'm suffering. That's what it's all about. Half a minute to go, 30 seconds. Usain Bolt will do 300 meters in that time. Come on, everyone. 20 seconds to go, up, up, up. Final push now, come on. Don't let it drop. Don't let it drop. Hank is pushing through, Katie's pushing through, so is Maddie and Morgan. Last 10 seconds. Maximum energy, come on. To the end, to the line. Here we go, three, two, one. Woo! There we have it. Try and get your breath back. Last three minutes, cool down, easy riding, absolutely cracking job at home. Well done for following us through with that one. Five of us here, we're in the pain cave, you were joining us, it was great stuff. Quality 20 minute session to have under your belt there. Enjoy the recovery, keep getting the fluids on. Hank, how are you feeling after that? Yeah, good, awake, alive, energized. I think it's a good point to chuck this in maybe before you head out to work, maybe even before breakfast. It's a good quick sharp session just to awaken the mind, awaken the body and then head to work in a positive attitude. Brilliant, yeah and Hank's work today will be fixing my shirt so I have the sewing kit ready for him straight after this ride. Katie how are you feeling? Yeah no good thanks, yeah it was a nice short session actually, um, yeah feel ready for the rest of the day or yeah. You um, managed to lose half your body weight in water though. Yeah, I'm really <laughs> hot today. <laughs> That's the thing, 20 minutes, but still we're absolutely drenched. We've had a cracking workout. We have put our legs through the blender and we're ready to face what comes next. For me, that'll be bed because I've done my work. I'm gonna have a shower and I'm gonna sign off for the day. Still have a minute and a half. It'll be cool down first though, before <laughs> I get to bed. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that one though. Let us know in the comment section down below what you thought of it. And also let us know what you thought of my, my shirt before I ripped it off. I'm interested uh, to hear from you. It is actually Hank's shirt. So um, yeah, less said about that, the better. Very baggy shirt, Hank. I'm surprised you had such a baggy shirt in your wardrobe. It fits me perfectly. It's the style, mate. He'll fix it up for me. You may see it on another training session. One minute to go. Spin the legs out, get out of the saddle again if you can. Remember to keep hydrated because if you were like us and you sweated like this, you will feel it. It's only been 20 minutes, but easily a bottle of fluid's gone there. Don't underestimate it. Keep drinking, a snack in if you can. And enjoy, thanks for joining us once more on GCN Training. Love these sessions, love sharing them with you all. Keep the comments going. Let us know what you're up to next, which session is your favorite perhaps, or what you want to see more of. And we'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it too. Always appreciate the support. And I'm gonna go off, make myself a little smoothie and uh, find my bed. Thanks for watching everyone. Thanks for joining. See you on the next one.